I'm super excited to be back at the Wyoming Dinosaur Centre today. This is the museum where my professional career as a paleontologist really began, way back in 2008. Let's go take a look inside. Triceratops and T-Rex, of course. <laughs> Every North American museum, they need to be there. It's pretty awesome. These, this one's just a cast, but the Triceratops is partially real. Then here, can't pass the big guy. This is Jimbo the Supersaurus. This is found in Douglas, Wyoming. It's great to walk in between the legs of this thing. It really gives you a good sense of scale. Look at that, into the pelvic region. Right femur. Down to the other leg bones. The ribs. This is a plaster mount, but the one behind me, this one, this is real bone mount, 80% real. You have a Camarasaurus, you can just about there, you gotta see his head there. You can walk under the Camarasaurus, take a look. Yeah. It really is a fantastic museum, so many great specimens. Some of these skull bones that have been found on the museum's dig sites including this Allosaurus skull. This other beautiful piece of jaw teeth. And the Camarasaurus skull. This is an original Archaeopteryx. One of very few known. You see the impressions of the feathers and the detail. Look how the feathers extend down the tail. This here is a, this is a fish. This is a pterosaur and they're locked in mortal combat where you have the fish is literally snatched the pterosaur. This plesiosaur behind me was a specimen that I also described. This was working with Bill Wolf from the Wyoming Dinosaur Center. This is an example of a plesiosaur called Xerophosaur oceanus. It's the most complete skeleton known. Originally this animal was only known from an isolated skull. Right now. Yeah. Right now. There's Bill. Hey Bill. So don't make dumb sounds. Okay. Don't don't make dumb sounds. Right. Today we found the Will Traveler. Yes. Lomax. Yes. Don't don't do that. The hill. Okay. We're currently on the way to one of the dig sites. You can see over in the distance the main hill, which is where there's lots and lots of dig sites over there. The one in, in the building there is SI. This is one of the dig sites at the Wyoming Dinosaur Center. It's called SI, which stands for something interesting. Now, this is something interesting. There's lots and lots of dinosaur bones found right here, and it's thought to be an Allosaurus feeding ground. See the bones found right inside here? Allosaurus is a big meat eating dinosaur, and it would have preyed upon sauropods like this, but it's interpreted as an Allosaurus feeding ground because many of these bones show marks made by the teeth of an Allosaurus. And there's also been lots and lots of isolated teeth found right here with the bones. I'm sitting in the middle of some giant dinosaur bones. These are ribs from a sauropod. You can see it extends all the way in here, still buried by the rock. Extends down here, right to the end. Very big. There's another one here. And then behind me, there are some other bones. This one is part of the pelvis. Another bone lying here, and if you come take a look at this, this was found previously. This is an isolated Allosaurus tooth. Did you say this articulation is proof that there was not a debris flow of energy? We're right here at another dinosaur dig site at the Wyoming Dinosaur Center. Two of the paleontologists are working away on some of the bones. These bones, they've been exposed for a, for a while. Some vertebrae, humerus bone, the upper arm bone, the scapula, part of the pectoral girdle. I'm waiting to see what else is uncovered. 
All of this is part of the property of the Wyoming Dinosaur Center. Really makes you wonder how many dinosaurs are awaiting discovery. <laughs>